Steph. Oh, hi. Surprise. Uh-huh. So, this is funny. So are you, like, in there having dinner or something? Uh-huh. Dinner. You? Waiting. Just people from work. So this is like a first date or something? Yep. Well, I've actually known him for a while, but... I see. That's... Huh. Congrats. You're not wishing me good luck, Greg. I know you. You're wishing the guy gets a bone stuck in his throat or something. Yeah, but I hope you have a good time. You're such a prick. That's even classier when you're wearing a dress. I'm trying to look pretty because my former boyfriend, this guy gave a whole lot of my heart to, couldn't find me attractive. What the hell do you care? I don't. I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried at all. Bullshit. I see you looking at me. You totally miss me. My body. Listen, you look beautiful. Yes, you do. So what? You never wore that get up with me. So it doesn't exactly thrill me to tell you all that. Build you up about your dress. It's new. I had to have something. You'd do the same thing. Yeah? Really? Look at me. You recognize anything I've got on? What's that mean? So you are meeting someone then, is that what you're saying? I'm not on any sort of date. Really, not officially. Never even met her before. Well, that just makes you a slob then, doesn't it? So what does that make you? Fuck, I'm sorry. It's all right. I'm sure they can wire it shut and I can still have a suit. Let me see, here. Don't. You're not gonna be able to make it up with me anytime you want and call me when this, this miserable shithead that you're going out with tonight hurts you. Because he is gonna, he will. He's a guy, so it's a done deal. You'll be on your own, and then you're going to realize I wasn't so bad. I'll... I'm going to go back to my dinner now. I'm going to wait here. Hopefully a doctor will come along and be able to set my jaw. And then I'm going to nap my friends as they arrive and go to some other place. You do that? Wow. Thanks. That's really kind of unexpected for me, so thank you. Steph? You really do look great in that outfit there. James Avery said that the prettiest girl can give people hope and frighten their day. And wasn't that just a wonderful thing to say? Especially for a delinquent. And ever since then, whenever I look in the mirror, I see Eleanor Roosevelt. Only, of course, pretty. Can you imagine how much more she could do if she were pretty? <laughs> I've been thinking a lot about this, you know, about beauty and goodness and all the different religions. I mean, Buddha's chubby, face it, and Confucius was all old and scraggly and I imagine single. And you're not even allowed to have a picture of Muhammad. Was it the teeth? <laughs> I don't know. But Jesus is always really pretty, with perfect skin and shiny hair. It's like God was saying, look to Jesus for tips. Yes, I'm tired. I'm fucking whacked, but that's not it. That's not my point. It's memories, Christ's sake. I'm full. It's too much. I don't want any more. From the moment my dad woke me up one midnight and said, look, honey, it's a new millennium. You'll always remember this. And now he's been dead. 440 years and I'm a walking graveyard of memory and I remember everyone I ever fucked and everyone I ever loved. I remember endless snatches of then crucially bitter or joyful conversations. I remember embarrassing moments from centuries ago. I know the lyrics to a billion idiot pop songs. I know millions of novels and movies and census sagas. I know a thousand-year-old children's game. Ashes, ashes. But I don't fall down. How long? Young women need the prom. It's a rite of passage as sacred as getting your driver's license or buying your first bra. There are a few things in life as glorious and meaningful and sparkling with gowns and cummerbunds. Prom is the quintessential teenage experience. 
Think of the unlucky grown-ups or the elderly who lament the day they decided not to go to prom. It is a key ingredient to a happy and meaningful life. Prom is short for promenade, a slow, gentle walk through a shady glen, and this ceremony symbolizes our journey from the shadows of adolescence to the bright sunshine of the adult world with all its freedoms. And it might be the only chance I ever have to dance with a boy. Maybe I'll never have someone get down on one knee and offer me a diamond ring. Maybe I'll never walk down the aisle with that smug look of bridal triumph. But it is my right, and the right of every plain, frumpy, bookwormy, soon-to-be librarian to have one night of Cinderella magic. Even if we have to go with our cousin, or our gay best friend from tap class, we will have a prom and you will help me.